everybody! I'm in the Little Wood, also known as Martin. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Fortnite. You might recognize right now that I'm in very unfamiliar settings, not just in game, but in real life as well. As I record this video, I'm sat in North Carolina, America, inside of the Epic Officers, and that's not clickbait, it's legit. I've been out here for about five or six days now, and it's all because of this right here. You won't recognize this area. This isn't a new point of interest, this isn't a new map, this is a whole new mode dude welcome yourselves to creative mode so today's video is basically going to be going through what creative mode is i want to show you guys how to use it give you any little tips and tricks that i've sort of developed over the last couple of days because i've had about five days with this tools now and i've basically made loads of different things we've made race tracks pvp arenas we've made uh, an obstacle course i've made an entire prison like there is loads of stuff that i've been putting together so let me first explain what we're doing right here so this is known as the creative hub so basically when you're in the creative hub you can see your island which is always going to be kind of like an orangey one uh, and then there are going to be featured ones so basically epic have told us that on a regular basis they are going to feature community maps in this hub to all players which is just unreal the amount of like exposure and potential and growth that people can have from that is fantastic and it's going to be such a cool way of finding new content to play that i just can't tell you how excited i am for it other than that you can also go to pretty much the base of most of these if they're active uh, and you can actually access your friends world via this exact same option which is really really cool so let's get into our first island let me show you the tools and we show you how to start making some levels so first and foremost when you get up to your portal there are four islands that you can choose from that are your own so you can press and hold e and you can select from each of these now i'm currently playing on somebody else's account so fingers crossed they've not actually made anything on number three this time around and by the looks of it i think we are pretty good Yep, this is looking alright this. So, you're going to notice straight away that there is a brand new item in your hotbar. You won't have seen this one before. I've got infinite, you know, uh, build materials. I've got a four hour window in order to build stuff. But the developers have said to us that that number may come up or down or adjust over time. Depending on how things go. You know, this is a brand new feature, a brand new mode. So, a lot of changes will be coming with this. And you might notice things like keybinds in my video might differ from what you have. And there's the potential to bind them and stuff. So, just take everything here with a pinch of salt. I'm talking about mechanics stuff not you know this isn't the exact version that you guys are going to play so first and foremost we have got this on slot number two simply known as the phone very simple to do uh i actually suggested some names and i'll explain those later on when we get to our first like bulk of items that we can spawn in but this has got a load of mechanics to it so you can either copy something to take a straight copy of it and left click to place which is pretty cool uh you can either do a right click to pull that particular object and then again left click to place and you can continue cloning it as much as you'd like uh you can also also aim at something and press X to delete it. Super easy to do, really nice and simple. Uh, and then you can also fly into the sky by double tapping jump. And if you want to go up and down, it's basically, you can either look in the direction and press forward. So currently I'm pressing forwards and looking up and you'll now notice that I'm quite high. Press down and you'll notice you descend. But you can also do it if you're looking straight onwards by pressing crouch to go down and space bar to go up. So kind of has that kind of rough Minecraft vibe to it, which is pretty sick. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and delete all of this. So I've got a blank canvas right now in order to build some stuff because I want to throw down something known as a prefab. So this is a prefabricated material. And I actually had actually uh, suggested that they call this phone like the phablet. Like, you know, you've got a phone or a tablet. This would be a phablet for prefabs. But let's have a little look at the menu and show you what these look like. So this is it. Prefabs. Now, you're going to instantly recognize that you've got things like the Lucky Landing POI. You've got things like the basketball court from Tilted. You've got the L Tower, the big tower in the center. You've got factories, you know, uh, Pleasant Park, all that sort of stuff but you might notice that these ones at the top are completely brand new which is really nice so i'm going to click on equip and what that's going to do is going to drop that into my hot bar now it basically got a grenade and wherever i hold down the left mouse button and look at this is where it's going to spawn this prefab so let go loads of new stuff spawns in and you're basically good to go so you can run this course if you want to this is basically just an obstacle course it's some like newly designed stuff you've got things like these uh full damage rails that basically fill out the full width of a tile we've got the ice block as well so this is a brand new tile that you can place down on the ground and essentially make a surface slippy but other than that you can basically grab everything from these prefabs which is awesome so you can grab these right here move them around change them delete them whatever you want to do uh, and you can also so you, you notice at the minute i've got free reign of the movement if i was to press v i can start snapping it to the grid so it actually stays on various different degrees of snap on the grid which is really really nice and in the obstacle course that i've made already uh what we did was we we actually went ahead and placed down like one like that 
and then another one right on top of it. But what we did was we actually went ahead and rotated that one. So we went like this, and then when we placed it, it ended up sort of like doing like a diamond shape, and they were kind of no clip between one another. It's going to be a little bit um, like a trial and error figuring out which items can and can't no clip. But for the most part, a lot of stuff surprisingly can, which is really good. Um, so yeah, what else have we got in here? Anything else new? All the speed boosters. These are good for race tracks as well as some obstacle courses. So you can customize this to be either medium by default, which is how much boost it gives you. You can either be on low, you can have none, or you can have high. So there you go. And they do somewhat stack at times as well, which is pretty good. Um, but yeah, so as well as this over here, you might notice that full width rail. There is actually a slightly smaller version of it as well inside the devices, which is known as the half damage rail. Now you might notice there are just one or two extra little goodies inside of here that you won't have seen before. First and foremost, the timer, then you've got the scoreboard and also the player spawn. So we'll go back to prefabs in a moment because I want to show you just how extensive it is. But first and foremost, let's try out some of these devices so you can see how they work. So the player spawn pad is pretty simple, okay? So basically, if it's there, you will spawn on it. Whichever one you last walked over, you will also spawn on. So say, for example, I spawn on this one right here. And after walking over it, I walk onto this one. And then I get sniped in the head on this very tile. I will go back to that one because that is the last one that I touched. So that's something to bear in mind. Um, they have said to us, actually, we don't currently have them in, in this build of the game. But I'm sure you guys will have it. But they're going to have them for individual team spawners and stuff like that. So when you're doing team matches, that's all going to be, you know, sort of handy and ready to rock and roll, which is good. Um, other than that, we have also got the half width rails, which I wanted to show you. So basically, these can be placed similar to the other ones and you walk into them and you take five damage per tap, but it only takes up half the space, which is pretty cool. Um, other than that, we've also got the timer, which again, really simple to utilize. You've got two minutes. You can go ahead and customize that all the way up to, I think about 20 minutes, if I remember correctly. Yeah, 20 minutes. And all you do is jump on the pad, the timer begins and away you go. That's all you've got to do. Um, let me quickly try this one out as well. So the other one that I really, really like is the scoreboard. So that's this one right here. So basically the scoreboard at the minute, you've got your left bouncer to set the score for one side. Of course, right side is for the other point and then you can do a hard reset on the center like so now quickly on the topic of all of this stuff that we're checking out right here you'll have noticed inside of here inside of devices that there was also vehicles so we've obviously got the quad crasher and the like the atk um a little tip in case this doesn't change by the time you guys get it uh when you place it down you might be wondering like which way it's going to face because really personally i feel like if i click here it should face away from me or if anything towards me it's sideways. So the thing you want to look out for is that little nodule just there on the left hand side. So whichever way that is, that is the back of the vehicle. So if I go ahead uh, and rotate it a couple of times by, oh, not that one. Go back to the vehicle. So if I want to go this way around, you click it, you spawn it in, and you're good to go. That's essentially how that works. So that is everything in regards to devices. Now, like I mentioned earlier, I want to show you just how extensive it is in terms of what you can take in and out of these prefabs. So if, say, for example, we go for, I don't know, let's go for the L Towers from Tilted Towers, yeah? So let's go ahead. Let's launch this over like this way a little bit. Dunk it down. It's all going to spawn in surprisingly very quickly. I'm like genuinely impressed by that. Now, you might think like, oh, of course you can grab a wall. You've already shown us that. You can grab the windows as well. No problem with that. But what you can actually grab is like every individual piece. Like you would think that these two were the same thing. No, they're, they're, they're on completely separate like individual basis. So you can grab each of those. You can plant them in if you really wanted to. You can even go ahead and just like, I don't know, take, I don't know, this tiny little shrubbery bit just here and place that inside of there instead. And you've got a whole nother thing. It gets even more extensive dude you can literally take like individual cupboards like different drawers stuff like that that is the sound of the timer finishing up so <laughs> there you go uh you can grab individual fridges like beds everything like literally everything that you can see that is something that you could destroy you can basically take it as an object which is really really cool and the same goes for the roof as well so this rooftop isn't just like one rooftop with these two individual borders it's actually the black tile and then also each of the trimmings as well and the trimmings you can get as well are like the corner pieces so you know say for example you want to go around the bend that is also an option available to you and in fact on this one the corner is actually its own individual piece which is pretty cool so something i want to do now is go ahead and show you just how extensive these tools can be in terms of placing down objects and things like that so one of the things that i've done in my prison map actually is this so i basically went ahead i busted a hole in the wall at one section of it and i basically had like a car like pile up basically it looked like a truck went into a couple of parked cars and that's how that works so let's pull the 
the truck over this way to begin with, and first and foremost, you want to look through the various different options you've got. You've got the whole legend on the side of the screen anyway, but you can push items away from you, you can pull them towards you with F and C, or whatever you choose. Now, what's really interesting is, say I was to rotate this a little bit by pressing R, you can either do this on a snap, so if I was to enable the snap right now, it will do it on larger parts, whereas if I change the grid snap from V all the way to zero, you can smooth it out. So I can press the hold, and you see just how smooth it is, and it goes from there. But at the moment, it's only changing it, I guess, on the yaw, on the Y axis. So what you can actually do then is you can press tab, and you'll notice that the tab option changes. So now it's changing the pitch. So if I rotate it, we're now going up and over or forwards. And then the next thing I want to do is press tab one more time. And now I can start to roll the thing as well, which is just really, really cool. So I'm going to place that one right there. I reckon I'm going to grab this truck right here and give it a little roll onto its side as well. Just so that this looks like a legit pile up. And of course, I've rolled it the wrong way there. So instead of pressing R, I'm going to press Q. You can roll it back to there. Everything's good. And then I think I want to grab just for final demonstrative purposes. I want to grab this and I want to roll it all the way around like this. A little bit over like that and you can actually reset this which is really cool so if you hold shift uh, sorry if you hold tab that will actually reset it back to its original state when you first picked it up so there you go that's another little tip that actually took me numerous days to even realize I just hadn't even thought about it but um, there you go I'm gonna go the other way with it and now it looks like that car is properly piled up on it and I can place that car inside if I really wanted to like I can stick that car so it's sort of like half clipping through the top and stuff like that so it's not too particular about collision boxes which we really, really liked. Other than that, pretty much the only other option I need to show you uh, is gravity. So currently, place it it drops to the earth. You place it, it drops to the earth, which, you know, most people will actually want because they don't want their cars awkwardly hovering, you know, just a little bit above the floor. Same going for their chests and beds and whatever else it might be that they're placing. But on occasion, you might actually want to make yourself a bit of a parkour route. Uh, and currently, you press G and you can sort of place these around and basically start to create yourselves a really cool little parkour track, which I really, really like. So that is it in terms of the controls for manipulating things. So you've done the hard part. You've made the map. You've used your creative juices. Now all you've got to do is go slightly into a game design perspective and go ahead and place in your chest which is going to contain your guns your ammunition your heels everything like that that you need to pick up some elimination so normally in this building i want to say there's a chest in here isn't there there's one in this bathroom right here so let's use this as our starting point so we're going to open up consumables we're going to pop in like a weapon or two so we're going to be generous we're going to go for a heavy shotgun we're going to add to chest we're going to give them a couple of shotty shells so that stacks of 100 apparently in this mode which is great uh i'm also going to pop in in maybe like some minis and maybe like 500 wood well that's a lot actually and then all you got to do from there is click on create chest and when you have a look at it it's right there which is really cool so obviously at the moment it's floating above the ground a little bit so i'm going to go like this i'm going to turn on gravity hit that one and it's going to dunk itself to the floor now what's really cool with this is you can duplicate this so i can either take it manipulate it turn it around do whatever i want with it so i'm going to place it there or i can straight up just grab it duplicate it and it will have the same content as the other chests so if you have a very specific death match that you've got ahead and created and you want like you know certain chests to have set loadouts that is the thing you can actually do which is awesome and you may have also noticed the second option you can actually do this as well with llamas and again works in exactly the same way you can grab them duplicate them manipulate them and everything's good oh we've gone through the floor there friend let me go ahead and bring you over here i'm just going to place like loads of them Look at them. <laughs> They're all just sort of like diving through the plains. The tribe moves in a pack. All right, I have just realized before we go on to the very final part of this little tutorial that there is one more movement mechanic when it comes to the phone and actually manipulating things like walls and stuff that I haven't yet shown you. And that is the mirror tool because uh, the mirror tool can actually be really handy. So let's say, for example, you want this wall right here with the old Zambi on it. So I'm going to take it outside. You've got that there, but you've decided, you know what? I want the zombie on the other side. You can literally go ahead and grab it, press M, that will mirror it, and when you place it, the zombie's now on the other side. So that is more of a cosmetic preference, but there are certain things like, to so say, for example, you wanted this corner piece right here, and you wanted to take it to the other side. You can do it with the rotation tool, and then you can hit the M, and when you rotate it back, that will actually allow you to have the colorings from each side on the opposite side for the most part. So you might notice that this has probably got a color on one side that differs on the other. So, oh, actually, no, that one's the same but some of them have like red brick on one side white brick on the other 
So typically you can grab it, you can rotate it and then mirror it and it will end up having the same angle but having a different face. And I think that's just about it if I'm completely honest with you. So I'm going to really slowly scroll through the remainder of these prefabs and you can feel free to pause the video at any point to have a little look at these. But obviously you won't get this feature until tomorrow so people can start looking at what they have available to them right now and they can start figuring out what sort of things they would like to start building you know over the next sort of uh, 48 hours when this mode very first drops this one by the way is very cool this one is literally like the devs have been wonderful whilst we've been here we've been suggesting all these different tweaks and changes certain tile types that we'd like and this one has literally been added in in the literal few days that we've been here and that's just basic color blocks and they're going to expand on that in the future which is really cool but they just have a couple of effects a couple of styles and it's just really really nice but anyway let me get back to the list let's finish this out and then i can take you through to the final part of this tutorial which is basically how to set up your island with its final settings so you know how your game mode is going to play out so you've got your final few three two one and there we go. You'll see all of this tomorrow for yourselves anyway. So if you ever at any point want to save your map or you want to just like exit it, you can either do leaf match and that'll take you straight back out to the regular lobby or you can do return to creative hub and that will take you back to the little area that we were in previously, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then other than that, you can also force a respawn at any point, which is nice. But this is the thing that we want to look at finally. So this is the my island setting. So as you're in the middle of creating your game mode, there's a few things that you're going to want to check. Uh, first and foremost, if a friend was to join on you, do you want them to have bill permissions personally i wouldn't <laughs> just in case somebody joins on me that i don't know and they start just deleting everything uh, i'm going to set it to only me for now hit apply and for now nobody else can edit other than me which is like giving me a bit of peace of mind uh, and then other than that you can obviously change it to everyone if you want to do a collaborative project uh, you can reset the island completely so if you want to wipe everything off the island so all you're left with is sort of the mountainous range the obviously the foliage that was here initially then that is an option that you have at your disposal and then we have the game setting so actually a lot of this is going to be very familiar to you if you've ever played in the playground mode things like starting health you've got full half health one health you've got shield you've got infinite ammo resources pickaxe damage so it can either like one hit everything or it can just be regular old default um item elimination so basically keeping your hot bar if you die that's quite a nice one to have full damage low gravity and we got player names and locations of course that was of a highly requested one previously now the respawn height is interesting so if you don't have these player place plates then you want to decide just how high the rift is going to be when it exports the player upon a respawn so you can choose either off high normal or low which is quite nice and then you've got this final one which i really really like and that's the ability to either turn off or on the down but not out feature so if you have a run and gun death match if you've got like something that's a bit more like circuit based you can basically turn that off so the second you kill somebody they're gone they're going to respawn elsewhere on the map and you just carry on with your day so you know what i think that's basically everything inside of the creative mode that i could think to show you guys at this time if you do have any remaining questions between now and when the feature launches tomorrow with a brand new patch then do let me know in the comment section below i will answer any and all questions that i can and if i don't know the answers to them then i can obviously ask the right people and see what we can get sorted out for you all uh, and yeah i'm so excited for this i'm going to be making so much stuff inside a creative mode i want you guys to play my maps i want to play your maps there's going to be a system in which we can actually share that back and forth which is awesome so that is it cheers for watching leave a like on the video if you watch this far remember if you would like to support me as a creator and everything that i do here then go to your item shop go to the bottom right corner and and click support a creator put the word in the little word in and hit save and remember you have to renew that every two weeks that's how long it takes until it expires and basically whenever you buy something from the item shop with v bucks i get a couple of pennies from each purchase and it genuinely really really helps me out so if you could do that that would be great have a wonderful day evening night whatever time you're watching this and i'll see you next time Bye bye